Hello Aquarius and welcome to your September 2019 monthly reading. Aquarius, you can now find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at SecretTarot1111 and I will leave those links down below in the description box. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on for your September 2019. If this resonates with you, Aquarius, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aquarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Aquarius for September 2019. What is going on with Aquarius? What is going on with Aquarius? Ooh, got us a soulmate going on. Very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. And decisions to make. Ooh, ooh, this has got you nervous. Ooh, Aquarius, this has got you nervous. What to do? What to do? Um, we got communication going on with a soulmate energy. That's what I'm seeing. And you are going back and forth about it. You don't know what to do. I've got two, 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 three sets of two so far. So big decisions here. Big decision. Um, whether to not, whether or not to start a new chapter here, and it's got you nervous. You're riding the fence on this one. I feel like you want to see if they're going to put in the effort and stay um, very focused on you. And I and and I'm seeing that. I'm definitely seeing them be, being very focused on you, Aquarius. All right, this is this is good stuff here. Bottom of the deck. Let's start with the bottom of the deck, right? Getting my head in myself. Eight of Wands here. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So a lot of back and forth communication happening here between you and this individual. All right. So that's nice. Um, I feel like a strong soulmate connection here because we got a soulmate card here. So that's very good. Um, this person could live at a distance from you. Some readers call these the arrows of love. They're trying to, you know, Aquarius. They're trying to talk to you, right? Come and talk to me, Aquarius. They want to, they want you to make a decision here. This has got you, you're a nervous wreck. You're all up in your head. You're overthinking the situation, which is understandable. I know. I'm a Libra. I'm an air sign too, but... Um, yeah, so we got the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That's Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. And um, if the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time, time is fluid, so this may not resonate with you right now, but give it some time, right? It may resonate with you in the future. This, For some of you, this could be a past situation, right? All right, so uh, keep in mind that the energies, some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So a lot of back and forth communication happening here. This person wants to talk, and uh, I feel like you want to talk to them too. So let's see what's behind there. Ooh, okay. So this person's following their heart here with this King of Cups energy. This person's following their intuition. This person wants you to follow their heart. Um, so we have this water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So this is an emotionally mature individual here. Okay. Um, so that's very nice. And they've got a cup of love for you here. And you're just like, what, am, what do I do? It's very overwhelming, I feel, for you for, for one reason or another. I feel like this Ten of Wands... Um, Maybe you're holding on to some, I'm going to put it this way, because you're coming through as this and this, okay? Um, I feel like you're holding on to some past 
thoughts, okay? It's like some residual energy from past failures, okay? You need to let that go, right? You, you, uh, you, you're so um, back and forth about the situation, you're, and you're, we got all these two here. It's like being undecided on what to do. It's like you're holding on to those past fears. That's what I'm seeing here. Ten of Wands, that's more fire energy. Yeah, because the past was very toxic and you worried about the past repeating itself. So you kind of want to see, okay, is this person for real? Are they going to put in the work? Are they going to put in the effort? So Aquarius, you really need to let the past go because it was, we got this Capricorn energy here, um, the devil card. So it was, you have experienced a toxic past. And like I said, residual energies from that, that you still, those thoughts still pop up and they create thoughts in your head that make you doubt situations. And this is why you're overthinking this. This is a beautiful energy here. It's just that you were kind of going back and forth about it. It's like you're wanting them to prove that they're not going to be this. They're not going to be toxic. And I think they, um, I think they're going to do a good job. They want to start off very um, slowly. They want to um, take their time with this, get to know this. They, they do want to put effort in. They really do. Okay, so let's see where this is going. So we got a soulmate here. Now this this isn't the feeling of a crappy ex to me. Now, if this is someone from your past, it's a very kind energy that I feel that wants to take their time, that wants to show you that they're not toxic. I don't see this as a toxic ex. I see this as a very kind energy that thinks about you quite often. This could be even be like a past life connection that you're experiencing with this individual. Um, it's a very kind, gentle energy, and it is a soulmate connection. Six of Cups, this is Water, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What is crossing that is this King of Pentacles. So not only is this person emotionally mature, but they're also stable, okay? So not only are they going to follow their heart and be emotionally mature about the situation, and I feel they're, they could be a little intuitive as well with that King of Cups energy, um, but they're stable, Aquarius. We got the King of Pentacles. This is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they um, are willing to make you some very serious offers here. This is a very serious individual, and this is the kind of energy that's going to offer you um, stability, um, loyalty, protection, right? And long-term commitments, very grounded energy here. This is the kind of energy, I mean, they could work in, male or female, they could work in um, anything to do with land like construction or real estate or farming, even anything like that, or finances, banking, investment, whatever, right? So this is definitely a very emotionally mature and very stable individual that wants a new chapter with you and they're willing to take their time with it because maybe they know that you're a little nervous about this situation, okay? This is you. This is, I mean, the ball's in your court here, Aquarius. Uh, it's put you at a crossroads. And I feel that crossroads is like, am I going to go for this or, or, or what? So you're going to have a big decision to make. You're holding on to past toxic residual thoughts. That's what I'm seeing. And you need to let it go. You need to let it go. You're overthinking the situation and you're going back and forth about it. You're going back and forth. Two of Wands here. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this person has offers. This person is for real. This person is for real, and you're going to have to decide on what you're going to do with that. All right, so, and in the past, right, still with these twos, 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 twos. Let me show you. Big decision here. Two of swords, two of wands, and two of pentacles. 
So this is a huge decision, all right? So, yeah, I'm seeing you not really wanting to make a decision. You're kind of at a stalemate here in the past. But I feel like this person's got offers. So now what are you going to do with this? Serious offers for you, Aquarius. What are you going to do? You going to take them up on it or what? Um, so in the past, you're kind of at a stalemate, right? Needing more time, more information to make a decision. Two of swords, that's air. Now I feel like things are heating up a little bit. Okay. So you're going to, they, they may be putting the pressure on you to make a decision. Either allowing them in your heart or making, you know, them making an offer and you deciding what you want to do with that. Do you want a long-term commitment with this individual? That could be. Maybe, um, it could even be like moving in together or moving, you know, at uh, a significant distance here because in the near future, I've got the world card here. So you definitely could live at a distance from this person. But I'm seeing you start a new chapter here. I really am. I'm seeing you letting go of the past toxic thoughts that that you keep that keep popping up in your head like is this going to end up being toxic is this going to end up being toxic i don't i don't think it is i think this is a whole new chapter for you so you're closing out the past you're letting that go and this is a whole new chapter for you here aquarius so that's very nice what is crowning this is more communication this is good news this person is waiting on good news from you and the good news is yes that word one word yes they want you to say yes let's do this let's go let's be in a um, higher level of commitment let's let's do it for the long term let's let's do it there I feel like they're kind of looking for that yes that good news page of wands this is fire energy aries leo sagittarius this is you nine of swords so you're overthinking the situation this person's got offers yeah they're willing to take it slow but i feel like the the pressures uh they're they're turning up the heat so to speak okay but they're willing to take their time with it but they do want you to start a new chapter with them all right, for the long term. And it's got you nervous, okay? It's got you thinking. It's got you overthinking, which is completely understandable. It's a huge decision for you. Nine of Swords, this is more air energy here. This is them. They just want you to give them a shot here. Let's do this. Let's let's take a chance on this, right? Page of Pentacles, just open the door. Just open the door and walk through, right? So they're willing to take it very, very slowly here, but this is a very sincere offer. It's grounded. This is the offer that this person, do you see what I'm saying? There it is, there it is. So this person, you got an offer coming to, you have a, a very serious offer coming to you, Aquarius, from a very serious and emotionally mature person. That's what I'm seeing hopes and fears for you, right? Is this offer real? Are they concentrating on other pinnacles, including me, right? Am I just, am I in a long line of pinnacles here? Or are they going to be completely and totally dedicated and focused on me? I feel like they're going to be completely and totally dedicated and focused on you, okay? Eight of pinnacles here, this is earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I feel like you you want to know if you can trust the situation. You want to know if it's going to turn out to be toxic. You you want to know if this person's really sincere and going to put the work in and the effort in. I'm thinking that they will. I'm thinking that they will. Okay. I see them very focused on you. I see them. I see this person right here. Okay, working on this offer. There's the offer. They've got the offer. Here they are bringing you the offer. Do you see what I'm saying there? That's what I'm saying. All right, so <laughs> now what are you going to do with this offer? 
<laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So it's a very emotional decision for you. This is, again, a big decision for you. A very emotional one. The soulmate energy, I mean, they're for real. Are you ready? Are you ready? So you're kind of going back and forth, weighing the pros and cons, that kind of thing. Is it, you know, maybe a big question, is this sincere? Is this real? Is this going to work out? All these questions in your mind and you're weighing out the pros and cons. And you're doing a whole lot of thinking here, Aquarius. Two of Pentacles, how, you know, more earth energy. How's this going to work out? Um, should I move there? Are they going to move here? What about our jobs? What about the kids? Blah, 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 blah. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. In your own mind. It's like a tennis match in your own mind right now. All right. So let's see what else we've got here. For Aquarius, please clarify that two of pentacles for Aquarius for September 2019. Please clarify the two of pentacles for Aquarius for September 2019. <laughs> More communication. More communication here. So communication is key. Especially when it comes to you, Aquarius, you're going to need clarity and a whole lot of communication in this situation. Let me pick one more here because we already had that. One more card for Aquarius for September 2019. One more card for Aquarius for September 2019. This person is waiting on your answer. They've planted the seeds. They want success here. They want six. They're waiting on your communication on a decision that you need to make. That's what I'm seeing. It's all it's going to tell me. So eight, uh, seven of pentacles, more earth energy here, right? They, they want to hear from you. How many pages can we get? They want communication, 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 good news. We got offers, sincere offers, love offers, passionate communication. They want to hear the word. Yes. They're waiting on your decision and here. More communication, more communication, right? You're going to need a lot of it in order to make this decision here. But Aquarius, this is very sincere. This person is for real. Okay, it's real. It's tangible. A lot of pinnacles here. This is something that you can hold on to. This is something that can last a, um, a very long time if you allow it. All right, so all you have to do is say yes. All right, let's pick, let me move this over. Let me pick some Romance Angels cards, Aquarius. All right, this is for Aquarius for September 2019. What is going on here, Aquarius? What is going on here for Aquarius for September 2019? All right, what is going on here with Aquarius for September 2019? We have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now forgive me, Aquarius, but as I am seeing this, as I am seeing this, when this popped out and then this card right here and that residual negative energy that you've been holding on to, this is what this is about. And this is why you're overthinking the situation. Uh, this is very deep seated here. Um, definitely could be some trust issues on your part, which is completely understandable. I, as a Libra, I have trust issues that I'm going to need to heal and deal with. I know that. There's no shame in that. Uh, but I feel like this is why you're really, really back and forth and, and kind of going back and forth and weighing the pros and cons and thinking and thinking and thinking about the situation. Okay. I'm seeing this as, as like a trust issue. Is it real? Yeah, I, I think it's real. This person knows you're the one. 
you've already met the romantic partner you seek. I feel like they've had their eye on you for a hot minute because that is what the King of Pentacles energy does. They watch and they, they see what's going on in your life and they... King of Pentacles is in it for the long term, so they want the right person. And Aquarius, you're the one for them. They've decided. Now you've got to decide. They're just waiting for you to say yes. <laughs> I keep saying that. They're waiting for you to say yes. They just want a shot here. Let's go. Right? They want they want a chance with you. All right, Aquarius. Very nice reading. Um, yeah. Soulmate energy. That's good. I like it. I hope you have liked your September 2019 monthly reading. I, I think it's a good one. I think it's a good one. All right. Like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, you can now follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Secret Tarot 1111. And I will leave those links down below in the description box. You can also find that information in the about section of my channel. Um, I will also put the weekly schedule in the description box and the about section. And there you can find when your weekly reading will be released. And also uh, the live schedule. I go live nearly every day, but um, Saturday. And I usually go live around noon Eastern Standard Time. All right, Aquarius, you take very good care of yourself, and um, I, I wish you the best on this one. It looks good. I, I think this offers for real. All right, Aquarius, have a great week, and take care. I'll talk to you soon. God bless.